All right, for our fifth beverage, we have Woodchucks. We have a variety pack here. This is made in Vermont, established 1991. I find Woodchucks to be the best cider, hard cider out there. Woodchucks has a good balance of sweetness and tart and apple flavor. Versus the other brands. Now our favorite Woodchucks is the Granny Smith. I like it because it's the most tart and sour of the bunch. I do like a sour apple. Um, not so much for the very sweet apples. So Granny Smith is right up my alley. Now with this new uh, variety pack there are two flavors that we have never tried. We are very interested to see what they're going to taste like. Oh, okay. We're going to taste the whole pack. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Open them up. Alright, let's see which one we get first. Open up the hatches. All the suspense. Captain, looks like we're getting Pierceco. Ooh, Pierceco. Venturing into a different fruit. Exciting. Oh! They're gonna knock in your ass too. 6.1% bubbly dry cider. Says it's got citric acid in it. So that means there has to be some vitamin C in there. Fight the scurvy. Fight the scurvy. Unfortunately, in our nutritional facts, they do not state vitamin C. As a sailor, I'm appalled by this. That's a very important attribute that needs to be explained to people. At one time, beer was safer to drink than water. Still is. Captain, I tried the last one first. Why don't you go ahead and try this one? Okay. Let's go ahead and pop them open. Smells like a pear. A little bit sweeter, very smooth, light carbonation. Has a little bit of a pear, but kind of tastes like an apple too. Kind of a mix of the two. I'd say it's a good combination. Since it's a dry cider, so it's not as sweet as some of them, which I, I don't like when beverages are too sweet, it gives me a stomachache. This one is a, a good balance. It's got such a good balance, I'm going to take another sip of it. If you're wondering, it's gluten free, so stay healthy. Fermentation for fun is what they advertise. I believe they are correct. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the next variety case. Alright. The next flavor in the variety pack is dun, dun, dun. Amber. Okay, so Amber's has been one of the longer varieties of woodchucks. So this is a Amber Sweet Red Apple. We've had this one before, but it's been a while. We usually try to go exclusively for Granny Smith. I've had Amber before, it's still good. Alright, let's go ahead and crack them open. To the health of the ship. To the company. To the company. I think that's just your standard good hard apple cider. Uh, not too sweet. Good apple flavor, a little bit of carbonated crisp to it. Overall, passes. We like it. Other other brands are either too sweet, uh, too mellow. They don't really have an apple flavor. 
Uh, this is a good balance of everything. It's not very tart, more of a sweet apple. So. Definitely would be on the boat again. With the amber, it only runs at a 5% alcohol by volume as opposed to the Persico that ran at 6.1. All right, what do we got next? I don't know if we'll make it through the whole case. <laughs> Better break it out. If you see us jostling around a lot in this video, we're not sitting on any cushions. We're sitting on the hard fiberglass. We threw all the cushions out so we could clean them. So we're a little bit uncomfortable right now. You could say we're on the hard. Well, that's a good one, Captain. <laughs> that's a good one. Because we are on the hard. We're on a trailer. All right, the next flavor in the variety pack is... Ah, the Mimosa. Cider and OJ, a little shaken and joy is what they state. 5.5%, gluten free. I think pretty much all our beverages today have been gluten free. We're really worried about our health. So as you know, the typical Mimosa is a champagne and mixed with a fruit juice. This is a cider mixed with a fruit juice. I do like a good lunchbox. Some orange juice, some beer. It's like a mimosa for men. <laughs> well, I guess we gotta uncork it. Let's go. Way easier, way easier, way easier. All right, let's go ahead and give these a try. Definitely taste the orange juice. And you do have that wine taste to it as well. After the fruit juice hits your taste buds. It's definitely got a dry finish to it. it you gotta at the beginning get that sweet orange juice flavor so we've had these earlier today it's tasting better now for some reason I don't know why it's tasting really good uh, it didn't really hit me at first I'm liking it now though yeah I am liking it now cap I think the, I think the reason for it is our table here is uh, a little <laughs> full of beer cans Oh, no. But they're all gluten free, so it's okay. Yeah, it's gotta be healthy. <laughs> a little bit sweet, though. I would have to say a little bit sweeter than the other varieties that we had in the pack. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. It tastes a little sweet, but it could just be the orange juice. So, last in the variety pack of the Woodchucks, we have. Bubbly Rose, or Rosé, fancy. This one is at 6.1% alcohol. Captain, I think uh, there's only one thing left to do. Let's pop the top. Oyster up, let's go! Just a refreshing sound, just popping the top. The O'Day 28 has great acoustics. Bad lighting though. <laughs> Horrible lighting. As you'll find out, we have another video where I update the lightings. Pretty much double the lumens of the standard lights, and it's still pretty dim. In this whole boat, there are only five lights. Currently, while shooting this video, we have added four extra auxiliary lighting to where you can actually see us. Alright, let's give these a try. I haven't had these before, have you, first mate? No, I've never had a rosé. Oh, it's got the little accent sign on the E, you gotta say rosé. Rosé. We probably paid extra for that asterisk. Is mm -hmm. that an asterisk? No, it's an accent sign. No. Let's hit it. Mm. Not 
Not really a cider. Definitely tastes like a rosé wine, though. A little bit. A little bit of fruit juice, a little bit of wine. It's interesting. It's good, though. I do like it. It's smooth, easy to drink. It's got a very fruity notes. And like the captain said, it's not it's not quite a cider, so like you don't get that very distinct apple flavor. But it's a very balanced fruity notes. What is rose? Oh, we're sailors, we don't know this. We just know it has alcohol and so it's good. And it's gluten free. Definitely helps the mainsail go up. Gluten free. That's all I gotta say. We're not weighted down by gluten. It's got purple carrots for coloring. So it's got vegetables in it in some capacity. Purple carrots. Like you're making it up, first mate. I'm gonna earn my keep on this ship one way or another. For all you health savvy people, this also has the most calories of any of the varieties in the pack at 190 well at least for sailing we just call that ballast ballast is good mm -hmm. the more you have the better okay so we have sampled the whole variety pack and from what we can determine it is a pass we would buy this again for the boat I think between all the different varieties, I think it would match everyone's taste buds and would satisfy their preferences. Uh, within the Woodchuck's Variety Pack, we went through a very broad range of flavors. And me and the captain do feel that anyone that would come aboard could find a particular one that they would enjoy. So it's a very crowd pleaser. I am leaning towards the rose. I think out of the variety, that's probably my favorite. We gotta go back through and sample them all again so we don't forget. I was getting a little parched. A little paired? A little paired, if you will. All right. For our last one. This one is my kryptonite. This one, if left on track, will sneak up on you. You will have a fun time drinking it. You will have a terrible time remembering it. It used to go by Bud Light. Now it's called Rita's. What I am referring to is Lime Rita. These come in different sizes. I've always seen them in cans. They come in 8 ounce cans. This one is a 25 ounce can. So the reason this is my kryptonite, this is a very strong beverage that you should pour it over ice. However, if you don't, after about two or three of the eight ounce cans, you forget that it needs ice and they start tasting very good to the point where you regret it the next day at 8% and how quickly they go down it will make you go down. The problem with these and that you're supposed to pour them over ice is that not every boat has an abundance of ice to use for your drinks. So you have to batten down the hatches and just drink it straight. Wise words. Wise. Captain I think we've eluded long enough. It's time to open it up. I'm almost scared to open it. Because I know what's going to happen. Alright, there it goes. They did change the name. They used to be Bud Light. Now it's called Rita's. They've rebranded. Probably due to this sensation craze of seltzers. No ice. Let's go. The captain only bought one. Oof. 
definitely a stronger taste. Um, alcohol hit, hit you first. Still very sweet. A lot of lime you can taste in it. it is the strongest of our samplings here. Tastes like bad decisions and regret in the morning. <laughs> Sailors take a warning. Well, that concludes our taste testing here. Uh, in a future video, we're going to go through the Ace variety pack. Ace is a cider brand, just like Woodchuck's. A little bit more on the sweeter end. So hopefully, after all this cleaning, we will start to go through more O'Day restoration projects. There is a lot of stuff to do, and unfortunately we keep finding more and more items to do. Uh, today we cleaned the whole boat. All the carpet, the walls, the cabinets, the village. It's looking a lot nicer and it smells a lot nicer, but we have a lot more work to do before we can hit the water. A boat this size at 28 feet long, 7,000 pounds, and then give or take. Oh, close to eight. Close to 8,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. It's not very often that you get to put it in your shop to work on it yourself. Usually, you have to take it out and pay the marina to work on it. Yeah, so we're going to film all our different activities, projects. Uh, to name a few, we have a few sail repair videos that we need to do. Our jib needs a new sacrificial cover. Our main sole needs a new uh, lug at the top. That we need to stitch in. We're gonna rebed the whole deck. There's numerous leaks throughout the boat. Being 40 years old, it's time to replace all the sealant. In a future video, the sacrificial cover we are hoping to refurbish this by using a sewing machine we just bought we will get that video out to you shortly it's a Konsu 99 we got it at a super price but the lower end is locked up on this sewing machine we are hoping that it is an easy repair so we have an industrial sewing machine that will be able to sew through numerous layers of canvas and sailcloth and in true twin sail fashion we cannot complete a project without starting another one so stay tuned so help us to explore comment on other beverages we, we should try and we'll give them a grade we'll go ahead Bring them to the boat as proper, crack them open, give them a taste. We do this, we're going to drink these for you. For you. I, I don't want to drink them. I don't want to drink them. My liver is already crying. Already shot. And my backup <laughs> liver is right there. Oh shit. But yeah. I was hoping, I was baking on you. So we doing this. For you. It's quartermaster. We need his. I can't wait for the cushions to come back. Mm. <laughs> oh, I guess she's gonna hurt. <laughs> Let me does hurt. Look at see. Caleb Bone's like... <laughs> 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 
should put the back rest on. That's 57 minutes. God damn it! <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs>